today with the chair Aoki on the tilt bed headed for oh up in the same area we got the Lincoln Navigator Cedar Mountain along Highway 14 just before Duck Creek there's a little road that goes down there called Muddy Creek that oftentimes is a trap for motorhomes and those types of things this time of year with the snow melt the GPS tells you to take that route and it's not a good idea so we are gonna run down and stop at the Maverick and fill up. I finished up a job last night late for Bill at Utah Off-Road Tours. He had a customer hit a little bit of a sand bank and munched up a control arm in that last video so we're putting that back together hopefully get him back out on tour tomorrow and we will take you along for the ride. What everything your truck spots? No there is only truck spots on the outside edge or that other big canopy and if you pull in there on camera and look like a doofus because there's no fuel bowser for a diesel muddy dirt roads it starts to warm up in the afternoon and the mud gets really gooey and thick and so hopefully we don't have any problems getting them up out of there but what a beautiful area Cedar Mountain uh, Cedar Breaks National Monument is where we're at right now and it's just a real neat area so we'll see where we end up We just turned off onto the Swains Creek Road and we're about nine miles from the motorhome. As you can see, it's a dirt road. So now we're Duramax on a dirt road. We'll find a good wide spot up here and we'll unload the Jeep if it gets uh, much rougher. Pretty good road right now, so we're gonna just bomb in here a little ways and once we get in here and get to the little bit rougher sections, we'll unload. Camera fell over. Yeah. 
people are really good at this camera stuff. It's nice to have camera help today. Becky must have been bored. No, she says she's shaking her head no. All right, the road's getting rough. We're gonna stop. Pull over. Continue straight onto Douglas Trail. Well, that went from Duramax on a dirt road to uh, time to unload the Jeep and bomb the Jeep around on the dirt road, so. Turn right on FR 060. And we're supposed to turn on Forest Road 060. We're right on the money, headed bearing down on where they're at for another seven miles or so. Definitely turned into a Jeep road, that's for sure. Maybe it's, maybe it's kind of smooth in an old motor home. You think? There is no other left. That's why these people are down here in a motorhome because of your stupid directions. Nope, not that one. Holy crap, not that one. They didn't go down that, right? No, it didn't say they did. Oh hell. <laughs> back there a little ways dropping down a big steep canyon thinking we were gonna loop around and drop in below them that's not gonna happen they've dropped down in the canyon and it is very very steep like unbelievably steep so we will get over there and see what the heck we got going on crime in Italy we might have the Duramax in here with a tow rope hooked it dragging the whole mess out of here so we're gonna work our way back over there and drop down that canyon
Okay, so <laughs> we passed this road thinking there's no way somebody would take a motor home down here. And boy, I think we're wrong because our coordinates are telling us they're just straight in front of us down this canyon. And there are some big holes and off camber stuff. Mud. Mud. I think we've got our work cut out for us today. That's not a road. <laughs> we are in the bottom of Swains Creek and this is not a road for a motorhome. I hate to break it to you. I, <laughs> I've been doing this a long time and it still says 2.4 miles to the motorhome and we have been through some rough stuff. And I see these big wide tracks that are wider than my Jeep. And, you know, rocks. And rocks and off-camber and big washouts. I mean, what brush and trees. That's going to get my roof camera. Oh, lordy. This is going to take hours to get out of here. What's that road over there? Is that an alternative? I thought for sure the GPS was full of crap, but look at what I just found. Holy. Bumper looks bent.
I think there's places you should not take a motor home and I, I believe this may be one of them. They got the insurance. I'm not putting my seatbelt on. I don't want to be able to abandon ship. Are you kidding me? I'm not going down with this highway boat.
That's the new Tucson Trail. Okay. So <laughs> we barely got out of there with the skin of our teeth. Now we got this big steep road out of here, so we're gonna get unhooked and get boogieing.
know one thing for sure. I've never been more happy to see my Duramax in all my life. Well, except for that one time I got lost on a snowmobile and we did our best not to beat the hell out of it. But it pretty much already had that done to it, so. Man, that was a wild trip out of there. We clear down in the bottom of Swains Creek. I don't know if we should have kept going towards East Zion or if we should have come out the way we come out, but it was kind of a toss up. They were clear down in the bottom. But with all that weight on that old motorhome, it come out of there pretty good. Becky's gonna drive it out. Got your new motorhome? Yeah. Anyways, Becky's gonna drive it out at least to Duck Creek. We're gonna go catch up with the folks and get it back to them and they'll have to deal with uh, whatever when they get done with their trip. But thankfully it wasn't tore up too bad. We didn't do any damage getting it out of there, so to speak, except for maybe the front license plate come off. And We're gonna get off the mountain before dark. We're gonna uh, just be cooking right along. So we're gonna go drop this to the folks off at Duck Creek and thanks for coming along for the ride. off-road recovery. Cruise America does not approve of this message. Brought to you by the Action Committee for bigger motorhomes with four-wheel drive, worn winches, or bigger roads. Four-wheel drive motorhomes and a minimum of a 15,000 pound winch. Bigger tires. <laughs>